I left my $30,000 business to go all in selling low ticket digital products. And to be honest, the decision came from pure burnout because I was tired of working 10 to 12 hours a day fulfilling four clients, no weekends, no time spent with my family or friends. Hi everyone. So today we are going to create this amazing looking reel, but also we will be tweaking these animations okay i'll be just enhancing the type of visuals which you will be editing so let's begin with our edit open your after effects and you know make a new composition vertical composition of you know around 15 seconds and then afterwards what we can do is first of all as you can see you know in this animation the background okay everything is there okay these all elements are there okay we'll design this but as you can see he has used this stationary object over here okay but what i'm going to do is after he swipes this card a real you know paper or bill will come out from here okay so we'll do that change in this animation so first of all let's you know create a new solid okay and let's first see what is the color of this i just copy this color from here faf 3e5 okay I will give you this video in the description so you can just copy the color code from here okay i'll just paste it over here and hit okay so we have got our background now for the next thing is our barcode okay hit s to make it small okay, and put it over here card okay this credit card and hit r for rotation and put it over here uh, I can make it a bit bigger, I guess. Yeah. PNG of this code. Hit S to make it small and put it over here like this. Okay. As you can see behind this, there are some dots. Okay. And a grid type of shape. So you can, you know, make it inside After Effects. But downloading PNGs and bringing it over here was more faster. Okay. So I will give you the asset. Just, you know put the png behind this and it will look clean i'll just bring it you know over here as you can see we have got that grid shape okay to go behind this and now the next thing is doing the hand swiping animation okay so to do that what we have to do is first i'll bring in my you know png all the assets i have got from free pick and google images Okay, as you can see here, these is the free pick, okay, site. So you can go here and search for, you know, barcode scanner and, you know, barcodes and hand holding credit card and those type of prompts. So you can get these images or also you can head on here, okay, in this uh, Google images and search for grids and you can get, you know, all these are, you know, free in google images but in free pick some are paid so choose properly which are free after that what i'm going to do is right click transform and flip horizontal hit s to make it big in size r for rotation okay and now we'll be doing this swiping animation okay so we'll keep it out of the frame and what i'll do is hit shift and p open position and rotation keyframe both of them go ahead again keyframe both of them go to the second keyframe and then just bring them over here okay like this and do rotation like this okay so it will come like this and go few frames ahead and hold these keyframes and go ahead again and then drag this down okay now we have to just select everything F9 and then drag this to the left. Okay. So you can see we have got that animation. Okay. But as you can see in the reference video, the paper is already there and looking stationary and not good. So we'll be doing this animation. But before that, what I'll do is head on to effects and presets and search for, you know, drop shadow. Okay. And put it on this. And I'll increase the opacity, increase the distance, okay. Change the direction to this side and then increase the softness, okay. 
to get the image a bit more depth. Now I'll simply just control C to copy this and head on towards my hand. Okay. And hit control V to paste it on that. Okay. Simple as that. Now the next thing is the paper animation which will be interesting. So to do that we'll be learning masking today again or you know mastering it. So first I will bring my PNG. Okay. So I'll hit S and make it smaller. Okay. So we will be using this. Okay. This PNG to what I'll be doing is I'll select the pen tool first and mask this out. Okay. Now we have selected this out. Okay. What I will going to do is first of all, I'll just make this a pre-composed layer. Control Shift and C. Select this and right here bill and hit ok now simply what we have to do is hit y and drag the anchor point to the center ok and then let's keep this aside for now so we have to do the animation in which the paper bill comes out from here when he swipes the card so to do that what we have to do is first mask this out ok so again I'll select my pen tool and start masking so Okay, now I have masked this out. What I am going to do is first I am going to rename this to machine. Okay. And then I just invert this mask. Then I will control D to copy this. Okay. And rename this to machine mask. Okay. And then head on to mask and this like the invert so as you can see here okay this is looking like a normal machine but then what we'll do is bring our bill and put it between these two okay and now if you see let me show you if you put it see it's looking like it's coming from inside okay so what we are going to do is basically first make this bill smaller okay so it fits properly Okay, and as you can see, it's coming from, okay, inside the machine. So as simple as that, what I'll be doing is, you know, do the animation when he swipes this, I'll, you know, bring this paper out. But before that, we need to add another effect to this to make it look more realistic, which is CC page top. Okay, so I'll bring this and put it on my bill. Okay. First, I'll do the animation so it comes out like this from here. I'll hit on P for position. Go ahead. Okay, somewhere around here and then drag this out like this. Select this at 9 and then drag this towards the left. Okay, so you'll get this animation. But if you remember properly, if you know a bill comes out from the top end, it starts to curl a little bit. So to do that, to do that, we brought here CC page term. Okay. Now I'll be just making this classic UI. Drag this over here. Okay. Change the light direction. So you now you can see here it's darker at the back, and change the fold direction also to fold from the top. Okay. Now, I'll just hit fold position, go ahead and then turn this a bit, okay. Like this, I can you know, just change the direction a bit, yeah, okay. Now I'll hit U, select these, F9 and then drag this towards the left. So you get this animation now to give it more, you know, 
realistic feel what i'll be doing is new adjustment layer okay and then search here for gaussian blur okay this legacy and put it on this and increase the blurriness okay now select this ellipse tool and make something okay i'll just you know drag this over here hit s to make this big bigger okay now i'll just go inside mask invert it and then increase the feather okay so as you can see the edges are blurred out okay and you can see the animation okay let's see what else is there okay so that is it only this text remains okay business and this number counting so digital product so you can do that easily just bring in a new text layer select this and you know head on to my effects and presets okay head on to my user presets and i'll select my text laid up and put it over here okay add view and bring in close up okay and for the number counting i can just you know select this from this select new text okay for thousand dollars put it over here okay let's print then closer then i can just head on to here and select my counting number preset put it on this make precision zero and value five thousand start value zero okay comma none prefix will be usd okay so as you can see i have got the number counting preset okay so our first animation is complete so basically what we can do is to make it more engaging i can just make everything a 3d layer except the background okay and on to new bring in camera hit ok then again head on new null object and now make it 3d and connect the camera to null take this p for position go ahead somewhere here again hit position go back and then zoom it in select this f9 and then drag this to the left okay so now we have for the scene one okay it's very easy to make these type of animations now as you can see again there is this text and then this is the scene two okay so we'll be making this now so to make this what i'll be doing is create a new composition for that okay and then similarly we'll bring in our background so i'll just head on to my previous composition and copy the things which we need okay so here comes our background and then as you can see the barcode is there i'll just head on back copy this and paste it over here okay now we'll make this to make this it's very easy just select this rounded rectangle tool okay delete the stroke and select the spill layer okay now make something like this open this rectangle path and increase the roundness now we'll be bringing in our compass okay put it here then 
we'll write the text at new text and then i'll add drop shadow to this so what i'll be doing is head on to my comp 2 okay and select my you know image this machine head on to my effects copy the drop shadow and then paste it on this okay and i will turn the direction towards the right now it's looking more good next thing is you know these lines as you can see so these lines are coming up it's easy to make okay just use your pen tool delete the fill okay select black or a little bit of black is also fine now i'll just make these lines make the stroke around 3 okay as you can see these are behind these okay so i'll just drag it back select all of these and bring it behind okay now design this properly okay i've just made random lines okay so now again we'll do the same thing is head on to comp 2 select this adjustment layer copy it okay this adjustment layer had our caution blur we just paste it over here and then what i'll be doing is just copy this okay and then put it over here r for rotation okay and put it like this so i think we have almost got it yes my capital complex only just select this text layer okay and to do animated just head on to trim paths open this hit end and then go here around this 1.5 seconds go to the start and make this zero select all f9 and then drag this to the left okay and the same thing which we did at here okay in this composition where we changed our active uh, you know introduced camera and did the movement you can do the same thing here okay but it's up to you you can also achieve this same thing okay by you know making everything a compound clip and then doing with scale like you know if you don't want to use 3d camera okay so what you can do is simply select this okay compound clip it hit s for scale go ahead go to the first keyframe and zoom this in okay then f9 and then drag this to the left okay you can get the same effect okay so this is how these two animations were created hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe. So see you in the next video.